What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing a realistic tarantula spider. Now the first thing we wanna do is define the size and the proportions of our spider. So we start in the center of our page and lightly sketch out an oval. So using the side grip of our pencil, start at the very top. It's gonna simply go around with these light, short strokes. Now this is gonna be the center of the body. Now we're gonna split our oval in half. Starting from the very top, we're just gonna extend up above, and just come straight down the middle. We're gonna come all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Now the thorax of the spider is slightly bigger than the center of the body. So we're gonna draw a larger oval, starting from the very top, and we'll work our way around to the bottom. Now we're gonna move back to the top. Right up here, we just wanna draw a curve, going up and down towards the left, and then the right. And we're just gonna pull these down in behind the body, in a straight line. Now we're gonna draw the guidelines for the legs. Starting on the left side, we're gonna start with a short line going out, and we'll do the same thing on the right. So we're just gonna mirror what we do on the left towards the right side. And we're gonna come up and in with a short line and then we're gonna go back out. Let's draw on the second set. We're gonna step down, we're gonna curve out and up, and line this up on the right side. And then we'll curve out and out towards the left, and then the right. We're gonna move down again, curve out and up towards the left and right sides. And we're going to bend these down on the end. And we move down again, draw a short line going out, and come down in an angle. And then one final set at the bottom, we're just going to angle down and out. Now we're just going to curve around and then down. Now that we have the guidelines for the legs, we want to thicken these up. So we're just going to trace this center line on the outside and inside. We're just going to round out the corners, the sharp ends. And as we get to the tip of the arm, we're just going to round this out and come back on the opposite side. Now we're going to go in and lightly erase out the center line. And we're also going to erase this center line in the middle. Now we're going to go in and separate out the sections of the legs. So from the body, we want to step out on each leg and just lightly sketch in a line. Just going across the base of each leg.
and then we'll separate out the tips of the first set of legs. Now on the second set of legs, we're just going to draw a curve to separate out the first section. And then we'll add two lines at the tip of the leg. Now we're going to do the same thing to the third set. Just drawing a straight line across the leg. And then we'll separate out the tip with two lines. And then on the fourth set, we're just going to draw three extra lines going through the leg, just evenly spaced out. Let's go to the last set. Start with that first line at the top. And then we're going to add three more lines along the bottom of the leg. Now from here, we're going to start adding some depth to our character. So we're going to add some shading around the body and the thorax. So along the bottom area here, we're going to start on the left side. We're going to sketch out a curve coming down. It's going to be a little bit higher in the center than this point. And then back up towards the right. Now let's lightly shade that bottom area in. Now I'm going to blend this in towards the center. So working our way around the body, including the top. We're just going to lightly shade up the top as well. And we're going to fade that out as we get in towards the center of the body. Now in this little area here, we're just going to darken up this edge a bit more. So we're creating a little bit of a shadow area. Now let's do the same thing with the thorax. We're going to start on the left side. We're just going to curve down in the middle. So we're going up a little bit higher in the center. And then back up on the right. Now we're going to lightly shade in the bottom. And then we're going to blend this in towards the center. And again, we're just going to darken up this area here. Just fade it out along the sides. And we'll also darken up the bottom area. Now we're also going to darken in the base of the legs. Starting on the left, just going to darken this edge up and just fade it out as we go out towards the outside of the leg. Now that our drawing is blocked out, we're going to go into the slightly harder pencil and start adding some detail. Now we're going to start with the fur in the body area. Starting at the very top, it's a series of little short lines that go out side by side. We're just going to work our way around the perimeter of the body. Now as we come around, the angle of the fur is going to come around, sort of aiming towards the center of the body. And I'm sort of starting out on the edge and just pulling it in so it fades out as it comes in towards the body. So we're almost defining that shadow area as well. And now I'm going to move up and just add a little bit of fur texture. So these short, choppy lines going across the body. 
You can see them staying within that shaded area. I'm slowly working my way in as well with a lighter press of the pencil. Now I want to add a simple design in the back of the spider. Starting in the middle, we're just going to lightly sketch in a line coming down. And we're just going to work with the fur around that line. So just pulling out towards the left from that center line, and then the right. I'm just going to really darken up the fur along the top edge. Now I'm going to move down to the thorax and do the same thing. Now this top area, I'm just going to tuck in underneath the body. So we're going to step out and just start the fur out a little bit further. And you can see that I'm pulling the fur up towards the center of the body. And I'm also going to darken the fur texture along the top, almost creating a shadow of fur. And now we're just going to work around the perimeter of the legs with that same fur texture technique. And I'm also adding a little bit more fur along the base, just working with the shading. And I also want to create a little bit of separation between these lines. So I'm just going to bump these out with a slight curve and just overlap it on top of the second portion of the leg. So just lightly penciling in, bumping that out with a slight curve, and just tucking the tip in behind. And then going back in and adding the fur texture.
Now as I move my drawing over towards the left, I want to protect my drawing from smudging from my hand. So I use a separate piece of paper and just lay it on top of my drawing. And then we're going to repeat the same steps over on the right side. And now we're going to go back to the legs and add a little bit of fur texture on the inside. So these short little lines going across each of the legs. And we're just following the same curve of the legs with the fur. Now we're going to go back in with a softer pencil and lightly shade the bottom edge of the legs. And now the final detail to make our spider pop from the page, we're going to add some shadow underneath. So we're going to start with the thorax first. Starting on the side, we're just going to lightly sketch in a shadow area around the base. Almost like drawing a shaded oval along the bottom. It's going to work our way up the sides. And now from the tip of the legs, we're going to shade in a strip that's aimed towards the center of the body. So we'll start on the left side, just at the bottom here. We're going to shade this in. So now it looks like the leg is lifted off our page. Go to the second leg here. Shade across, aiming towards the body. We're just going to tuck that in. And finally the top. Now let's work on the right side, starting from the tip. Just gonna pull this in towards the body.
And as we come to a close on today's lesson, I'm going to continue adding some more detail and darkening up my shadows. But that's pretty much it. There's our sketch tutorial of a tarantula spider. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.